Afternoon, my name's Martin Stone, the Chief Superintendent responsible for Cardiff and the Vale. South Wales Police is continuing to investigate a fatal road traffic collision and serious disorder which happened in the Ely area of Cardiff last night. At 6.03pm yesterday, we received a report of a serious collision on Snowdon Road which tragically resulted in the deaths of two teenage boys. The families of the two boys are being supported by family liaison officers and our thoughts are with both families at this terrible time. An electric bike has been seized from the scene and inquiries are ongoing to establish the exact circumstances. We've received CCTV footage that shows a police vehicle following a bike at just prior to 6pm. This footage is being recovered as part of the investigation and will assist us in piecing together the circumstances leading up to the collision. The families are being kept up to date. We can confirm that the following investigations have been carried out so far and when the collision occurred there were no police vehicles on Snowdon Road. A police vehicle in Grand Avenue responded to the report of a collision, attended the area and officers performed CPR. The investigation has involved the studying of CCTV and tracking data from the police vehicle. At this stage we do not believe any other vehicles were involved. During the disorder, 15 officers were injured, requiring medical attention. 11 went to hospital and 4 were treated at the scene. We are appealing for witnesses, information and footage from mobile phones and social media. Details on how to submit these can be found on our website. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the impact last night's disorder had on local residents, who were understandably very frightened. They have our assurances we will be doing our best to arrest all of those responsible. A number of arrests have already been made and more will follow. We're extremely grateful for the support from the local community and urge anyone with information to contact South Wales Police. South Wales Police has also made a mandatory referral to the Independent Office for Police Conduct to ensure the matter receives independent scrutiny.